So this is the dashboard on missingletter.com. Uh, missingletter.com, of course, is without the E. And from the dashboard here, Missing Letter really provides a lot of information, um, and they've really done a lot to clean this up and make it a lot more visually appealing and to make things a little more organized and make sure that the user flow is a little bit better of an experience. So this is the Curate dashboard, which this is actually one of the coolest features on Missing Letter right now. And if it weren't for this feature, I probably wouldn't use it myself. Um, but in general, if you go to your main page on Missing Letter, and this is how Missing Letter originally started out. This was, they basically started out as a content um, or campaign management tool so you could schedule all of your content. So it's pretty much just a content scheduling tool is what it started out for. So you have kind of this Kanban board type situation where you have this column, the drafts column, active column, completed column, and um, the backlog here is where you have automatically connected your website. So when you first start, you add a workspace and you connect the website that you're gonna be pulling the information in from, you give the dashboard a name, you save it, and that creates your workspace. So in this particular one, this is actually my own, one of my own websites, experttexan.com. And right here on this page, you see the campaigns and you can see that I do not have any blogs in the backlog that have been detected by the RSS feed. Everything is either in draft or active status. Now I just started using this tool uh, about a week, maybe two weeks ago now, which is actually one of the big reasons I wanted to show this because I wanna show the impact that this tool has already had. And I've put very little work and effort into using this tool. So here in this column, there are the drafts. I have five, you see I have five blogs here that I have not yet turned into campaigns. And you can see that I have uh, five campaigns from five blogs that the system, all of this has been done automatically. I didn't have to do any of this. It pulled all of these into here. I turned them into drafts. And then once I reviewed them and activated them, became active campaigns and they've been posting stuff automatically for me ever since. So um, now when you do this, for instance, I'll show you right here, you can click on this little button right here and click review campaign, regenerate campaign, view original source. So you can go to the actual uh, link, which will open up in a new tab. And you can see that this is gonna pull up my actual blog post that it has been generating this content and these social posts based off of. So should I have a blog for my business? Yes, here's why. So. When you click this, the first thing you want to do is click review campaign. And essentially what this is going to do is it's going to pull up four sections and this user flow has been improved um, recently. I uh, really like the way that this flows. Now, the first thing you're going to look, want to look at up here is this. And I missed this on the first few that I created. It's not very obvious. It's hiding right here. But basically you can choose from about five different campaign types here and each of these campaign types is how often and how uh, long the campaign is going to run. So for instance, if you're gonna do a two month blast, it's gonna create enough posts to blast your social media accounts for two months with the content that it automatically creates from this blog article that it pulled in through the RSS feed. You can also do two week blast, you can do a two week light if you don't wanna post too much about this same content. You can do six month evergreen. If it's evergreen content, that means that it's content that's not really going to ever age. It is content that regardless of whether people read it today or they read it five years from now, the content is still gonna be most likely relevant. And so if you have an evergreen piece of content, which this pretty much is because blogs probably won't become irrelevant for quite some time, um, I would do a 12 month evergreen uh, campaign for this. And it tells you when this article was first published on December 13th. Um, and then you can go and start doing each of these sections that you need to review. So choose the content. So we'll go through hashtags, free marketing tips, local business marketing, small business marketing. These are all fine. I'm fine with that. Uh, I might do some more research and pick some different ones. Mentions, if you want to include any mentions when the system schedules these to be posted to the various social media accounts that you have connected. 
and then you can select the images or which ones you don't want to include. These are all fine. There are mostly generic ones pulled directly from the article. And then here's where we get to the select quotes that will be used uh, in this particular article. So the ones that are in bold are ones that have already been selected. And if you scroll down far enough, you can find additional ones that you can click to add using this plus button. You can also delete some of these if you go through these and some of them are like, eh, it's not really something I would find interesting if I saw that on a social media post. So you can go through here and you can say, um, I'll add this one. You can say, uh, I'll add this one. That looks good. Uh, it's often because of, uh, research data shows you should have a blog for your business. We'll add that one. And when you're done with that, uh, you can click build campaign. So you have to do each of those four steps before it allow, allow you to review the actual posts that it is generating for you. Now, this is a little three dot action button menu right here. Uh, and it shows you this is day zero. So this would be the first day that this ends up getting posted to your social media accounts. And you can see it's automatically pulled in images here directly from your blog article. And you can change these, the style, you can change uh, the image that it's pulling in. Uh, these are a little blurry it pulled in. Um, I actually, this was kind of my fault when I pulled these uh, screenshots into my, my blog. But you can pull whatever one you want up and once you're fine with it, and you can also upload a new image if you want to fix that, like I was saying with that other one I did. Or you can use no image at all and just use uh, the actual content or quote. And you can also use quote bubble images. Um, so if you want to use a bubble image, you can also cycle through these quotes and use different ones. So it really just depends on what works best for your social media uh, networks. Then you can click next and go through here. Um, I kind of like this one, it's bright, colorful. Uh, so we'll just go through these. You have to look at each one that's going to be posted. You can change the uh, quotes that are going to be included. So you can cycle through. Remember all the ones that we were scrolling through, the ones that were in bold. You can scroll through these. And then once you've gone through day 161, day 229, day 298, and day 365. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine posts. Uh, that will be um, added to your campaign. Now, you also want to pay attention to this because uh, this will tell you if any of the social media accounts that you're going to be posting to, if the content or the quote is going to exceed the character limits. In this case, this particular one is over by 32 characters. So that means some of this is going to be truncated and it's not going to be visible on the social media network that you share it on. So the last thing you have to do is you have to confirm that this is your content. You are not allowed to be posting stuff that is not your content uh, because this content is actually being syndicated out to um, your uh, networks. So technically you could, I'm not sure why, why you would though, um, but their terms of service uh, says that you need to be only posting your own content uh, and go from there. It's not like you're resharing or sharing somebody else's content that they've already created. You're actually creating the creatives uh, and um, this is part of the branding of your specific blog, your business, etc. So obviously you shouldn't be doing that for somebody else. So you need to certify that it's your content and then click launch campaign. And once you do, it'll tell you um, that you have character limits exceeded. So you actually have to go in here and be like, uh, nope, can't put all that. Um, so for that sake, we'll just do this. Boom, boom, boom. And just cycle through here real quick. Make sure we didn't have any other ones. Well, we do. Uh, so we'll just do this just over by two and Make sure we haven't exceeded. All right, cool. So now we can launch the campaign and your campaign is almost ready to go. We're applying the final touches. It goes through and it basically optimizes your posts. Uh, it creates the URLs that it's going to use to track your clicks and it's going to uh, schedule the posts automatically and boom, it is done back to my dashboard and you will get a report on this campaign every single week emailed to you. You can also come in here and look at the stats. 
using the analytics button. So you can see here at the bottom, should I have a plug for my business? Obviously this is the newest one. There are no shares. I do not have medium. I don't have my medium account connected to this yet. Um, I am coming up with a campaign strategy for certain blog posts that I will incorporate into medium. But this is, um, that's pretty much it. And then once the campaign is completed, it comes here and you'll be able to relaunch those campaigns and put them back into the active column and you can just continue this whole cycle. So backlog drafts, active, complete, boom, back to draft, back to active, back to complete. And that is pretty much it for this. You can search campaigns if you have a lot of them. Um, obviously I do not. This is a relatively new uh, website that I've created. And so uh, this information, uh, I don't need to search for anything. But next we can go to Curate. Now Curate is, like I said, the coolest tool uh, on Missing Letter. And this is what, for me, sets it apart from a lot of other content scheduling tools because now this takes it to the next step. Now this takes it to, okay, how many people can I get to share my content with their networks intentionally? And so this curate tool is actually, it does just that. This allows um, anybody who has this curate tool on Missing Letter to share their content into a dashboard where then other people, other business owners, other bloggers, other social media influencers can now share content that is relevant to their audience and do it automatically and do it manually. And I'll show you what I mean. So from this dashboard, uh, automatically you can see here, share engaging content with your audience. You don't always wanna just share your content because let's be honest, uh, your content, sometimes your, your audience is gonna be a little bit tired of it. Maybe your content is mostly salesy. And with social media uh, posts and with your audience, the reason that your audience follows you is because they want education and they want entertainment. And really you should only po be posting salesy content about 10 to 20% of the time. You should only be selling to your audience 10 to 20% of the time on social media. The rest of it, that other 80 or 90% of content, your audience is following you because they want entertaining or they want educational content. And there have been many surveys done on this. Actually, you can check it out on some of my blogs. I've cited a lot of it on there. Won't take the time to do it now, but just know they want education and they want entertainment. And so that's what you need to provide your audience with. And this is a great way to do it because you can set up your curate profile. You can select what categories you're interested in. So you can see here, I have a bunch of categories, social media marketing, sales, network marketing, SEO, growth hacking, email marketing, content inbound marketing, basically anything that a small or local business might care about. Uh, you can also set things to what they won't match. And if there's a category that you feel like should exist, you can add it here. You can also do your tags and topics, and you can also uh, modify it around the, a specific language that you want the content to be generated around. And once you have that, then it creates all of these, this dashboard where it provides you with curated suggestions. So curated suggestions in these top ones right here are usually ones that are some of the most popular ones right now that most people are sharing. And then if you scroll down, you can see additional recommendations for other things that uh, you may be interested in sharing with your audience. So uh, you can actually uh, check the tags on this, what it's regarding, and you can click share. But if you wanna check out the article first, uh, you can click on the link and it'll take you right here, which this in and of itself is a great way to get new audience members because people are going to be reading your content. And so you could actually just get followers and fans and customers just simply through the fact that people will be reading your content before they share it with their audience. This is also a great way to make connections with people because it has not happened with me yet because I'm a relatively new user on this platform. Um, but I would imagine that this is also a great way to find guest authors um, and to create a little network of your own, even off of Missing Letter, where you write guest content for each other, which is another great strategy when it comes to blogging and, and business in general. So you can look through this, make sure that uh, it's a well-written article, make sure that the person knows what they're talking about. Um, just a quick, quick um, 
brief overview of the article, see what kind of content is in here, what they're selling, all that good stuff. If it's a match, you click share and boom, it is going to share it to each of the ones that you have selected. If it's not a good fit for all of your social media platforms that you have connected, you can obviously deselect them. For me, I'm fine with this being shared to all of my networks. Uh, I'm just gonna hit schedule and it is going to be automatically scheduled to my curate calendar which you will now see over here. So scheduled content, you can go through and see here. Um, now on this scheduled content column, you'll notice that there's a letter AS. That means that these are posts that the system has automatically scheduled for me. Now you can turn this feature off in your settings, but I personally don't mind missing letter doing even more work for me. And they also email me um, every time that they auto schedule stuff. So they'll send me an email, give me plenty of time to review it. I can actually click on the link right in the email to come to these auto scheduled posts and look through them just to make sure. And you can see here that Missing Letter has done a lot of auto scheduling for me. And so all of this content here um, is, uh, it's great, it's awesome. I can't tell you how much time this tool has saved me having to manually go through and read all of these articles, find uh, content creators that I like. Instead, it starts to learn automatically through AI what content I like to share to my audience. And it starts to automatically do that and generate that for me. Now, I can go into this and edit the content before it's sent out if I don't like the way that the uh, writer has created their um, their social media posts, or I can also go through and view it if I want to check it out before this automatically scheduled post gets posted in a couple of days. And if I don't like it, I can just delete it from there. I can also block the website, I can block the publisher, and I can report the post if the post is not in line with the tags or the categories or languages that the user said that it was. So it's really a self managed tool as well because you have to make sure that you are posting relevant content uh, according to the tags, topics, categories, and languages. Otherwise, people can report you, and if your curate quality score goes down, then uh, your content will start to be reduced in visibility to other users, which means you will get less shares, and it'll have less of an impact on the your overall uh, social media posts and your content that you are you are creating and delivering. Also, the cool thing is uh, when you do subscribe to a plan, you are limited to a certain number of curated content posts that you're allowed to post on here. I do think they have an unlimited plan, but it's extremely expensive, I believe. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But even if you're on a limited plan, for every five shares that you do of somebody else's content, they give you an additional um, credit to be able to share an additional piece of your own content, which is really cool because it encourages people to post other people's content so that they in turn can then get their content reposted as well. So it's a five to one um, ratio. So you have to share five other people's content or five other posts. And then in exchange, you get an additional credit to have yours posted by other people. So that's fair. It's awesome. I've already gotten a ton of additional credits this month. Um, I've already added five, actually six, because uh, it's delayed usually by 24 to 48 hours. Um, so I have eight bonus credits in addition to uh, the 10. So it's, it's pretty awesome. The tool is pretty amazing. Now, uh, if you want, you can go to your profile. Again, this is where you can access all the stuff. It's basically the same thing as here. And this is your... Um, auto schedule delay so you can curate an auto schedule setting uh, you can auto schedule things for three days if you need more time to review content you can do it up to seven days so uh, if these auto schedule posts you need more time to review it you can extend that time frame out so they don't post it to be posted to your accounts too quickly um, categories and topics again things that I am interested in reposting for um, and then my expert text and page for my social profiles, you can change it for each one um, and you can schedule it for auto post to each one of those. So um, go ahead and click save on that. It's gonna take us a second here, looks like. All right, cool. Uh, and then the next one is your 
settings here. Bear with me one second. Oh, looks like we might have come across a bug here. Let's see if we can do that again. Ah, there we go. All right. So this is your curate settings. Um, so you can get um, weekly suggestions for new engagement. You can get, actually, I'm going to change these to daily because I, some of these ones age pretty quickly for me. I go through and usually every day I find new content and share it, but it's only been doing it on a weekly basis. And I find that I have to scroll through multiple pages to get that. So I'm actually changing that to daily. So now that hopefully it switches up the content for me daily so I can find new content to Put on my calendar to schedule with my audience. Um, now moving on to the calendar, this will actually show you your full calendar where you can also sort um, based on your accounts here. So you can choose which content is being scheduled for, for which platform and when. And you can go through and check all of your own blog posts. And it'll also tell you all of the stuff that is um, being scheduled for what platform and um, you can edit it you can edit it straight from here you can just click the little icon but this is super handy um, because you can also do it in uh, a calendar or a list format so you can actually go through here and check out all of the things that are going to be posted and you can just edit all of this stuff straight from here so if you want to do it from the calendar view that's cool too you can also click create new post um, and just create content to be scheduled to your calendar right then and there. Um, now you can see right here, if we go back to calendar view, you can look towards advanced or future months. So in this case, this is January and we'll look out into February. So I actually already have some content scheduled because I did those campaigns. All of this is done automatically for you. You don't have to do anything beyond what you saw me do in less than two minutes under the campaigns. And all of this content is getting scheduled for you. The creatives have already been created. It's been generated by the system. And you can actually control all of this through your settings as well. Um, the branding, the, the branding colors and whatnot can be done through your settings. Uh, now, if you go to your analytics, now I will tell you, and actually, I missed a analytics stuff up here that I'll share you share with you in a second. But the analytics side of things is not. I can tell you it's not completely there yet in terms of um, properly tracking everything because the impact on my blog just from the past week and a half of sharing this content has caused a two hundred percent increase in the viewership on experttexan.com. And that is a significant increase in views on my website. We're talking about over 500 additional views on my website just from the day that I started using missingletter.com. So I can tell you that this is not entirely accurate. I'm not sure where the disconnect is, but my Google Analytics says that uh, missing letter is causing a much bigger impact than um, what would have otherwise been happening without it. So, but this one right here just gives you a brief overview. It, it's still nice to just kind of see what um, may be happening here. Clicks by social profile. Um, you can see that also down here, it says that Twitter has generated the majority of my clicks. Um, curate, the people who have shared it to their networks um, has caused additional clicks into my content. Uh, shows up my LinkedIn and my Facebook pages have not generated any clicks and it gives you the breakdown by operating system browser country which is interesting France is 46% um, and then what time of day you get the most clicks and actually a lot of this is relatively new uh, this was not all here when I first started a couple of weeks ago I'm not sure if it's just because maybe it took them a few weeks to get the data um, to populate these, but these actual boxes, these widgets were not actually here at all, um, even like a couple of days ago. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's something they recently introduced or if it just takes a little bit to generate on your account, but nonetheless, it is here. Um, and you can click and sort just like all these other things you can do. Uh, you can change the date range to see uh, the impact over specific time frames. You can change your profile, focus in on that, um, and all that good stuff. So this is really cool. It tells you what your top campaigns are, which ones have generated the most 
um, views, clicks, shares, etc. Um, but the really cool one here too is, and I missed showing you this analytics data under the curate tab um, is up here in this top right corner. It shows you that there have been 40 shared um, pieces of content that I have shared of other people. I have an additional 41 pieces of content scheduled. So I have a total of 81 um, pieces of content, mostly from different authors and different websites, but sometimes I find an author I like and so I share a lot of their content. I do wish that they would have more content like that. Um, and you can actually put ideas into their support team for their, for their map. Um, but this is, um, this is really cool. I wish that you could just follow specific authors, which I think they're actually working on that in their roadmap. Um, but I would, there are certain authors that I've found certain pieces of content for that I would love to continue sharing their content because of how it's written and they're just they're it's clear that they're informed on the topics that they're writing about they're well structured and so on and so forth you can also see that my content has generated 88 engagements for um, the content I've shared so that means that 88 engagements from the audience that I've been sharing to has been visiting these people's content and clicking through to it um, and then under the promote tab it has the same thing it shows you the information here of what your audience is and so basically this is an estimate and you can click each one of these and it'll actually tell you so this is a total number of social followers that m are matching curate users based on category tag and language preferences so based on these settings I have a potential audience of 5.44 million people uh, this tells you that 132 pieces of my content have been scheduled by other people and so far 19 pieces of content have actually been shared some of this is probably further out on people's calendars and their schedules similar to how mine is. And it's generated four clicks, which again, this is not accurate. I can tell you that <laughs> with 100% certainty, uh, this has actually had a much bigger impact on my website than what this number here would seem to indicate. So I'm not sure where, this may just be something that, uh, maybe they have a bug or something in tracking, but, um, yeah, that's not accurate. So uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you is right here when you go into promote, uh, you can click create new post. And this is just how you can create these curate campaigns because you created your own campaign using the campaign button here. But if you want other people to share your content, you need to create those campaigns here. So. Um, what type of content do you want to promote? A blog post from a previous campaign, meaning something I've already created. And here is the most recent one that I just created with you live. So I can actually click through to this and it's gonna show me all of the posts that um, I can share to be curated. So um, I would select which ones I want. So this particular one, I'm gonna click on just to see what it is. Uh, if you're struggling with uh, 31 degree of blog for your business. Uh, so yeah, this one's fine. I can go and um, share this. So if I click publish, it is going to publish this piece of content um, to, oh, and it gives me a pointer here. This has happened a couple times. Looks like you're writing in first person, blah, blah, blah. So I can actually edit my post here. Um, should I have, no, that's actually fine. Um, I will go ahead and um, click yes, continue. And it is going to generate this content to be curated. It tells me my potential audience, 1.31 million potential audience um, and advertising branding. And oh, no, oh, wrong button. Let me click back to here because I think I actually want to change this. Yes, yeah, so I'm actually gonna change this. I'm gonna change this to blogging because A, that is more relevant. Um, and then uh, it is tied into marketing. Oh, misspelled it. So we will go with uh, marketing, which that actually expands my potential audience. Free marketing tips, local business marketing, small, yeah, that's fine and now click publish again. So 
uh, I want to make sure that my uh, categories that people are going to find this piece of content in to curate to their audience are as relevant as possible to the content that I'm sharing. And so uh, that's why I went ahead and changed that to marketing and blogging because that's actually what that content is really framed around is how your blog affects your overall marketing campaign and why it will have an impact on your business. So um, that is done. So now that's it. That's as simple as it is. I can create another one um, using that same blog, just a different post. Uh, and you can just do this over and over and over again and create all these curate content posts. Of course, you have to keep in mind your limit for each month. But just this little amount of content that I have put into this curate calendar has 132 scheduled posts to other people's social media networks and it already has 19 shares that have already been done and this four clicks which again that's not entirely accurate so moving on to the next one which is the settings this is really where you're actually going to come when you first create an account um, and this is going to be where you put all of your settings so you can set your default hashtags uh, that you want to generate on your posts um, use the hashtags, enable hashtag suggestions. Yes, look at meta keywords and description if they exist to generate hashtags, sure. Allow quote truncation, yes. Generate quote bubbles, yes. Some people don't like the quote bubbles and I'm not sure I haven't really done A-B testing or anything to see how well quote bubbles perform. I also haven't done any research on it so I'm not sure uh, if it's better to not have quote bubbles on your social media posts. I'm guessing it's better to have um, media content like images, um, but I just leave it. It's fine, I don't mind it. Um, you can activate UTM campaign variables, UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaigns, and you can also choose which URL shortener you would like to use on your posts. Now, their advanced analytics, as they call them, uh, are through LTTR, uh, the LTTR.AI short URL shortener. Um, so this is also free. It doesn't cost you anything to use as part of their platform. But if you use any of these others, some of these others do charge. And so, uh, but if you already have them and you want to use them and that's where you're doing most of your data analytics through and you want to track your own clicks, you can do that. Um, for now, I'm just using the LTTR shortener. Uh, but again, it, they're, it's not really doing a really good job of tracking it right now, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, so... Um, just something to keep an eye on. Uh, you might get better click um, tracking if you use one of these other platforms. Uh, so once you're done doing your settings, you click save, and then you can go and set up your social profiles. And so you can see that right now, I have Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook uh, pages all set up. And I can also connect my Medium account, which is not currently connected. Uh, I will connect that at a later time. So um, the next one is you can go to, now you also can see here I'm on the pro plan, which means I can add up to 11 social profiles. I only have three. Obviously I have a lot of room to add additional ones, um, but I don't wanna connect anything else right now. Moving to the dates and times. Um, this is important. You wanna be able to control your schedule. I don't currently have Sunday as a date that, or a day of the week that I want content posted. I may change that. Um, you can also set blacklist dates. You can also select months. Uh, you can choose which day the week begins on for you. You can choose your time zone to make sure that these times are matching up with when you think it's going to be posted. And so you can actually go through here and add all of the, the times. Now it's automatically generated. I haven't actually edited any of this. This is all automatically um, scheduled. It's automatically generated this schedule for me and I have not uh, messed with it at all. So you can you can test around and play around with it depending on what times of day your audience best, um, what time of day your audience best responds to your posts. So this is fully under your control, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, the next thing is your schedule templates. So remember when we were under the campaigns tab over here, we had those, um, uh, different campaign time frames, 12 month, six month evergreen, two month, two week blast, and two week light. You can create your own schedules and you have full control over this. So you can name it, you can put how long the campaign duration is, how many posts you want within that campaign duration. 
um, post distribution. Do you want more posts from that campaign to be start posted at the, the beginning of that campaign? So if it's a 12 month, do you want 10 pieces and the first five pieces are posted within the first 30 days and then the other five pieces are spread out over the last six months or five months, whatever it is? Um, or do you want it to be more at the end? Uh, or do you want it to be evenly distributed, distributed and so on and so forth? You can also do the post schedule, so you can do uh, you can add days, uh, you can change the days. Uh, you have full control over this, which again is really really cool. It's very simple, very well laid out. Uh, the the user flow is very user friendly, um, and it's really difficult to really make a mistake in in any of this platform really at all. In fact, I only made one mistake, and that's the fact that when I went to create my first few campaigns, I didn't see that I had the option to change my scheduled templates right then and there and then after like the third uh, campaign I was like oh yeah duh, that's where they're at so um, the next one is the content templates so these are templates that you can use um, to create your content and so uh, you can edit these you have full control over this you can add your own template and you again have full control over this. You can insert quote, insert title, insert link, insert Twitter handle, all that stuff um, and save it and done. If you need help doing this, you just click need help and it'll pull up the help articles to help walk you through that. The next one and this one is extremely important as well is your branding. It's important to make sure that the colors and whatnot are lined up with your branding. And so you can see here, uh, I have three primary active themes, and these are pretty much in line with my uh, branding colors and whatnot. You can go to my theme library, and you can uh, go through here and activate these for your workspace. And you can go to um, browse available themes, and you can add these additional themes to your library. Uh, so then you can go to your theme library and activate those. Uh, so uh, these are this is really cool too. I like um, some of these designs and this one I actually I have this one or I thought I had this one because I did a post with this. I'm not sure why that's showing as not being in my theme library. Oh, maybe it was this one. So um, ah, it's this one. No. Nope. All right, I'm confused. Uh, I actually kind of like this one, activate it for the workspace. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this one you don't have as much control over. A lot of this is um, pre-made. You can click edit on it and kind of try to come up with a, a better look for it. Uh, change the background image and all that good stuff. Uh, you can use your own custom image and um, so you can edit it that way if you want to spend some more time um, putting this these templates more around your brand I haven't really spent a lot of time in here yet uh, I'm still um, relatively new to this platform myself but uh, definitely can play around with this stuff the next one is black listing phrases um, you can blacklist phrases on um, your missing letter account. So for instance, if you are doing curate or uh, you're pulling in a campaign article and you don't want certain things to be included in your social media shares, you can enter those um, words or phrases that you don't want to be included in the social media um, shares right here. Uh, I don't have any blacklist items. I'm sure I'll come across some things that I will want to include, um, but for now, it's blank. Uh, the last one here is um, the workspace details, so just your name, just basic information, and whether or not you want them to auto-fetch your articles from your website through your RSS feed, I do, so that's enabled, um, and that is how all of that works. Now, you can go down here, they have a Facebook community once you have uh, become a missing letter user, you can join their Facebook community. Um, you can also go up here to your account and you can click on my account and this will actually show you the different um, subscriptions and stuff here. So you can see that uh, there are some exclusive offers that I've got, exclusive offers for upgrade. Um, and you can, you can do uh, these little add-ons, which is kind of cool as well. So if I wanted an uh, additional social profile, I think I'm currently limited to 11. 
Um, I can get an additional social profile for $3 a month. If I want to add extra users to my account, $3 a month. Uh, if I want to uh, extra scheduled posts, I can get up to a thousand additional posts. I can add that to my cart. If I want to add an additional website in addition to experttexan.com and create an extra workspace, I can do that. Um, and then these are the pro curate monthly and curate yearly accounts. Uh, so if I wanted to upgrade and get additional curate posts, looks like they don't have an unlimited plan. Um, so I was wrong on that. Um, looks like you can add up to 10 additional curate posts per month by adding on their $49 a month or $4.90 a year, get two months off free, it looks like. So, um, and then this is upgrade to pro and um, all that good stuff. So I think I'm actually already on the pro. I'm not sure why this has this here. Advanced analytics. Yeah, I already have all this. So um, this is where you can uh, upgrade your account, which is pretty cool. So if you go back to, let's see if we can jump back here into this. Uh, this tells you how many workspaces you have. I currently can do up to four websites. Uh, extra users unlimited and social profiles. Um, I have four out of 11 already and I've scheduled 205 out of 3050 posts and curate posts per month. I have 10 that I can curate and um, post to my account. Again, this is saying zero out of 10. This is a relatively new platform. So I have picked up on quite a few different bugs in here. Um, so this is one of them because I've definitely done more than zero uh, curated posts as you saw um, and then all of your invoice details payment method all that good stuff so um, and you can change your plan here if you want and that is pretty much it so I will have a link in the description below if you would like to get your um, account missing letter account set up I definitely recommend this for small to medium business owners who do I recommend this for uh, I would recommend this for anybody who has a blog, anybody who has an e-commerce based business, anybody who has a consulting type of business, anybody who has a small to medium type business who you have social media accounts that you have a difficult time keeping up with and creating content on because the number one thing that you want to make sure you're doing as a small business or with your social media content as any business is you need to be creating content on a regular basis. Um, consistency is the key to success with social media accounts in general. And that's something that I have struggled with, which is why I was so excited to find this platform and to start using it because now I am generating content on a consistent basis with very little effort. It doesn't take a lot of time away from the other things that I have to do throughout the day and throughout my week. And it's just on autopilot, which is fantastic. It takes 10 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes out of my entire week to manage this which I love. And so uh, for anybody that is struggling to um, create content for your social media accounts or just wants to supplement what you're already creating, this is a great way to use uh, this content as a filler for your other posts. And so I highly, highly recommend it. Again, I have a link in the description below. Uh, so definitely if you want to get missing letter set up, which I highly recommend, click the link, get it set up. Uh, I get um, a very small commission for each of the sales. Obviously, it's a affiliate link, and that allows me to continue to spend time posting these type of reviews and instructional videos for uh, these tools that help small to medium business owners uh, continue to grow their businesses uh, and to continue to grow their audience and get more sales and scale their company up. So best of luck. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk next time.